let's see, injury tally from this weekend. One smashed thumbnail. One pinch blister. I think I'm batting pretty good for this weekend. What's going on YouTube? So I promised you in my last video, we got a little project. Putting an RV plug on my service pole here so we can plug the camper in while we uh, pack up and clean up before and after camping trips. Reason we really want to plug it in is number one, I uh, don't want that refrigerator running on propane for a couple days while we pack. Number two, when we go camping in the summer, it's 100 degrees here. We would really like to be able to run the air conditioner. So what I'm going to do is walk you through what I've got for that, uh, for that project. First thing I got, a cup of coffee. Second thing, I got some 14-3 uh, wire. I got some uh, three-quarter flexible waterproof conduit. I have me a 20 amp single pole breaker, a 50 amp double pole breaker, and an RV service box. Okay, 50 amp service. Air conditioner just cut on, we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, so you'll see in the box, the box comes with the 50 amp plug. It does not come with a 110 amp plug. I put that in there, which I will show you right now. So here's how I'm gonna go about adding a, a, this 110 volt outlet to my 50 amp service box. What I really wanted, like I say, was one of those um, RV service boxes that has the 50 amp plug, the 110 volt plug, the two breakers and all. Cheapest I could find that was on Amazon. It was 110 bucks. This guy was $27 at Lowe's. And uh, all the parts that I got for adding this box cost me about 75 bucks. So what I'm gonna do is take this panel out see on the back of the panel there's nothing there right here in this spot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the uh, take the 50 amp plug out so I can work with it I'm gonna use this outlet plate as a template and I'm gonna cut me the holes so this will come through from the back side and then I'm gonna drill me one right in the center and fasten it with the uh, switch plate cover the outlet plate cover Okay, so I got the plate out, so I'm going to turn it over to the back side. I'm going to take this guy. Take the screw out. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to use this as a template. Now I want to be careful to make sure that I give that outlet enough room on each side. Okay. So I want the center of it right about there. Just for reference. Okay. Now I'm going to take my scratch all and just mark that opening. Mark that opening. Just make a quick cross mark there where the screw needs to go. Okay. And that's that's what I've got to cut out. Those two spots, and I got to drill me a little hole right there. Okay, so I got the majority of it removed. I'm going to get my other die grinder and just finish taking out what's left. And I'll be test fitting with the, uh, with the outlet itself. Holes aren't perfect, but that's good enough. I just need to deburr the holes, deburr that middle hole there. We'll be good to go. Okay, so that's how I got the 110 amp plug in there. And um, the reason I did this, I need I need a 110 outlet on this side of the house. I don't have one. I do have a 110 outlet on the back side, but I need one on this side. So this was a good opportunity to put one in, which is also why I got the uh, 20 amp single pole breaker. Uh, I was gonna get one of those service boxes like you see in campgrounds, RV service box. You know, it would have the 110 plug, it'd have the 50 amp plug, it had, you know, a set of breakers for each plug. Cheapest place I could find one of those was Amazon and it was 120 bucks. This box was $27. All of this 
was about 75 bucks. So, you know, for the hour or so I spent in the shop putting that 110 plug in there, you know, I saved around 50 bucks. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, and, and I really hate that they ran the air conditioner right there, but they did, so I have to deal with it. So what I'm gonna do is put the box, it won't be quite square, but it's gonna be over to this side a little bit. I'm gonna put it right about here, just as close as I can get it to this bend, because I have to come out right here with my uh, conduit go down loop it loop it up on the bottom and come in through the bottom of that new service so first thing I need to do is mount that box All right, so we've got the box mounted. Now, I need to run my conduit. It's gonna have to go from here. And I'm gonna try to run it as close to these guys as I can. It's gonna come down here, loop around, and come in through the bottom. So, let me get this conduit out and sort of dry fit everything before I go punching these knockouts out. Well, the day has gotten short on me. It's getting dark. It's been a little cloudy all day, so, but sun's going down. So I'm running out of light. I'm gonna get up in the morning and we're gonna pick this up. But here's what I've got so far. Box is mounted. I went ahead and knocked out the uh, bottom knockout and put in the uh, conduit fitting there. Tomorrow, I'm going to knock out these knockouts, put in the uh, 90 degree fitting that came with the conduit, go ahead and run my conduit, and then I can run the wires. But guys, as you can see, we're losing the light here. So I'm gonna go inside, finish off my coffee, have a good night, get rid of the Skeeters. <laughs> crazy it's march skeeters are already out here in georgia all right guys so we're gonna pick this up in the morning good morning youtube so what i got to do today we're gonna get started by figuring out how much per time do it we're gonna need get around and up to maybe here I need to get inside and look and see what's in the way here I think I think this guy's in the way right here but maybe here but at least here need to figure out how much conduit we need for that get it cut off run the wires through grab me a sharpie and mark each one so I know what goes where so that's what we're gonna do Looking in my box here, I can go right out through this back here. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. 
main breaker is off by the way. What I'm going to do now is grab my um, conduit down here, go ahead and run my wires through it so I can go ahead and push it in here. Once it's pushed in here, it should be watertight and it shouldn't come out. So I want to get my wires going through there and into the box. And then I can figure out how long it's going to take me to get down and loop around and come into the bottom of my new service here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and wire up the outlets here in the service box and then we'll go up there and put in the breakers and wire it up up there. Alright, so I'm going to wire up my plugs here in the RV box first, get all that packed back in there, then we'll go up to the main breaker box, put in our breakers and wire it up up there. Get my wires labeled. 50 amp, 110 volt, so I know what goes where. So I'm not sure what code says, but I'm going to use white and black for my legs. So this will be my neutral.
right, so I got my plugs wired up here. I'm gonna put my breakers in here and wire them up. And then we should be golden. Two hots and and just so we're clear okay you see the size of those wires you see the size of these wires these run my air conditioner so they're pulling they're wired for they're set for 30 amps um, air conditioners 10 feet away uh, this is number 14 wire and I did use a wire size calculator at a distance and I calculated 50 amps for a distance of 15 feet this is going about five maybe six so this is actually oversized wire for what i'm using from what i'm for what i'm using this circuit for all right so we're clear there that's my house i'm gonna turn that on so i don't forget i'm leaving the main breaker off till i get the uh, plugs set back in the box the way they're supposed to be and then I need to go grab a voltmeter because I want to make, I just want to check these. I'm going to turn the 20 amp one on first, check it, make sure I have voltage to my 110 plug. Then we'll turn the 50 amp one on and see what happens. So, did you catch my two mistakes? I did. All right. First mistake was I crossed up one of my hot wires and my neutral. Um, I used white for one of the hots. You know, on the plug down there went back changed that out so the two hots red and black here are the hots red and black in the plug there the other thing that i made a mistake on was calculating my wire size i calculated 50 amps to run about 15 feet which is about double um, the length from here to the plug i neglected to take into account the 30 foot cord on the camper so this circuit's also another 30 feet long. So I went back and recalculated and number 10 was the size wire I needed. So I went back, got me some number 10 wire. Let me tell you something, three quarter inch flexible conduit, number 10 flat and number 14 flat four wire conductors. They don't want to go through there. That was about an hour fighting with that snake trying to get that through there, but I did. Got it through. So I got everything wired up, just like I showed you earlier. And, you know, it would have been really easy for me to go back and just erase all the footage from before and fix my mistakes and you'd never know the wiser. But hey, things happen. I'm not afraid to show it to you. So, got this all wired up. Breakers are off, mains on. You can tell because the air conditioner's running. I got a voltmeter, 
So I'm gonna get down there and I'm gonna turn on the 110 outlet first. Make sure I have 110 volts down there, okay? Then we're gonna turn on the 50 amp 240 outlet. Make sure we got 240 across the legs and 110 from each leg to neutral. Okay, we're gonna do the 110 first. Twenty-three volts. Three volts on the top. All right, so we'll flip that guy off. Here goes the 50 amp. All right, so we should have 240 across the legs. All right, 248 volts. Should have about 120 from leg to neutral, 123, and 123. So we're wired up right, we're good to go. Only thing left, I got to punch out the, uh, the knockouts in the cover there, put the cover back in the main box, and we'll be done. So I forgot to hit record, but last thing I had to do, punch out the knockouts in the uh, cover. So we'll go over the breakers, panel back in, on my breakers, and we are done. All right, YouTube, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, we're gonna get the camper out. Today's Sunday, so it's gonna be, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Tuesday, so probably Wednesday. I'll go get the camper out, bring it up here, plug it in, and we can get it all packed up and ready for our trip, leaving Friday. So, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Remember, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, Apparently you have to hit that little bell icon down there now. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I guess it notifies you if I go online live or whenever I post a new video. So yeah, click the bell, click subscribe, click the thumbs up. There's also a share link down there, all right? Share this video with your friends, all right? If you think they'll enjoy it, share it. I would appreciate it. I did get over a thousand subscribers. So once again, Louise, your demand, thank you very much for that. Thank you all for subscribing and supporting my channel. Also, got my uh, Amazon affiliate link down in the description. If you're going to buy anything off Amazon, it doesn't cost you a thing extra. Just click that link. I think it's good for like 24 hours. So you click that link and anything you buy in the next 24 hours, I get just a little smidgen of it. It's not a lot. It does help. Um, just like subscribing helps. And uh, so if you also, service items for this 2014 truck. Any any uh, any diesel uh, Ford pickup of this generation, all of the maintenance items that I use, also affiliate links down in the description. Once again, guys, thanks for subscribing. I gotta go put front brakes on this thing. I'm not gonna video that for you because I already have a video on that. I will put a link to it up there. So guys, thanks once again. Take care, have a great week. I'm going to try to vlog our trip, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, don't know if my wife's going to really enjoy it, but we're going to see, all right? Thanks, guys.